Hello viewers, this is Kimondo's View. Welcome to this channel where we discuss very, very important matters concerning our lives. I hope you have subscribed. If you are not done so, please do it now so that you can support me and support any parent there, any child there who wishes to have a better life. Today we are going to look at the distractors of our children's education. Why some children may not perform well in their academic work as far as their academy is concerned. Therefore, please, my viewer, remain there, watch this video to the end, and remember to share it to your friends there. I want to start by saying that some parents are the cause of the children's poor performance because they do not support their children. We have some irresponsible parents, parents who do not see their children as they go to school, who do not bother what their children have been taught throughout the day. They don't check their children's book. They don't even ask if there is any homework. They don't even ask the child what is not and going well and what is good. It is important that you keep a follow-up of your child's activity in school. Ask him how the day was. Ask her uh, what could be difficult, what is not working out for her or him. Therefore, as a parent, please start becoming responsible so that you can help this child perform well in his or her final exam. Uh, some children come to school late. Why do they come to school late? Because it is either they are not reached in good time by their parent to come to school, or they come and on the way they mess up, they just come lazily and they arrive to school late. Let me tell you, parent, when the child arrives school late and the teacher has already done the introduction part of the lesson, let me tell you, it becomes very difficult for your child to catch up with the lesson because the introduction is a very, very important part of the lesson. It links the lesson. It links what is going to be taught at that particular time. When you miss the introduction, you miss a very important part of that learning. Therefore, it is good that you release your child in good time, let the child go to school in good time, and encourage your child to always be in the classroom before the lesson starts. We also have uh, some children are just lazy. They don't want to work hard. They even don't know when they're in school. You give them work, they don't want to do it. And if they, if they do it, they do it in a way that uh, they don't care. They don't care whether they get it right or not. This is a sign of laziness. Please, parent, encourage your child to work hard because in this world there is nothing for nothing. You've got to eat your sweat. For this child to pass, he or she has to work very, very hard. Finish all the assignments given, finish all the classwork, and maybe even work ahead. Work ahead of the teacher. Don't just wait for the teacher. You know what the teacher cover uh, could, is not very, very equal to what the child is supposed to cover. So give the child uh, that room of knowing that it is important for the child to work very hard. After the assignment, after the completion of the classwork, let the child go ahead and do some extra work. This extra work will enable the child to go further and to get more knowledge and to get more information on the topic or the subtopic that has been taught. As a parent, and encourage your child to do that. And it is important that they also see some of these videos that they can also get encouraged. Please, my viewer, this video is very, very beneficial for your child. Let him or her go through it. And where he or she is not able to understand, help him to understand. At the same time, uh, we have some parents who have become so abusive to their children. 
They do not support their children at all at all. You neglect your child, you neglect your, your duty, and you are there asking your child to pass. How will the child pass if you don't support him or her emotionally? Always encouraging him, telling him or her, you can do it, my son, you can do it, my daughter. Be there for your child. Let the child know that you are very, very important being in his education life. At the same time, we have um, some children who have bad influence. Check who is your child's friend. Because some children have very bad friends who are of bad influence, who have negative influence on your children. Let the child know that a good child is the one who is going to encourage him as far as good life is concerned, academically, hardworking, uh, molding his character, and so on. But the child who is going to call your child to go and watch pornography, a child who is going to call your child to go and do uh, bad things there outside, stealing, huh? pickpocketing, huh? taking drugs, how will this child help your child? Some children have become drug addicts. They cannot survive without a drug. And they are also coming to school to learn. Please, parent, let your child know that there is no way drugs can go with education. You cannot serve two masters. It is either you serve the drug or you serve academic. And encourage your child to have those friends who are of positive influence. Drugs can never help your child. It is going to distort your child's mind. It is going to destroy the brain of your child. It is going to destroy the character of your child. It is going to make him lazy. It's going to make him doze all the time. How can he even concentrate in class after he has taken that chew of maybe whatever it is, bangi, or whatever they take? Please, parent, let you know who is your child's friend. And this one will guide him or her. They tell some children, they talk unnecessarily in class. Unnecessary noise. This child is not answering a question. This child is not answering a question. This child is not having a discussion. At least has not instructed any discussion in class. But he come up. Uh, he comes up with a topic and they discuss and they make noise in class. This is not a learning noise. This is a destructive noise. That is not going to help your child. So it is important that your child, child knows that noise making in class is of bad influence as far as his academic is concerned. You cannot perform well if you are a, a, a noise maker. How will you comprehend what the teacher has taught you? Whatever it is you are doing in a class, let you know that you've got to concentrate. You've got to give all your mind to the lesson, to the teacher, and to what the teacher is saying that you do. We also have some children. Uh, they come to school with uh, very funny devices. For instance, a phone. Why is a child carrying a phone to class? And you know, of course, once the phone is in his pocket or in her pocket, you keep maybe peeping in, peeping, who has called, who has written a message, who am I supposed to chat with? So this communication will distract him. There is no way he can concentrate. There is no way she can concentrate. And this is why the government said there should be no phones in school. Please let us follow this government regulation. Let us not allow our children to carry phone to school. It is bad. It is a bad influence. It is not going to allow your child to perform well in school. It's also going to influence others. Because they'll keep checking who has called, what is the message. That kind of communication, it is not good for your child. It is not good for the other children. Hold this child's phone at home. Before he or she leaves home, make sure there is no phone in his or in her pocket. Some children are having funny relationships. 
I'm calling them funny because they're not supposed to be there. And in the end, you find the girl is pregnant, the, the boy has become involved in sexual matters, and this one distracts their education. It is very painful as a parent, it is very painful as a teacher, it is very painful as a, a person of goodwill on the outside. But let the child know that these sexual activities, immoralities, can distract his education. He or she cannot concentrate well, knowing very well that in the evening or during the day or yesterday or the day before yesterday or the day after tomorrow, this is going to happen. This is what the plan is. And you know, of course, they plan. Let me tell you. My dear child, if you're involved in this, please stop it. It is going to destroy your body. It is going to destroy your life. It's going to destroy your education. And I just pity you. For the girl, it may result in pregnancy. Where will you take that child? I released another video some months back. And I told you how destructive it is to, to you when you become pregnant. When you become pregnant, it is so destructive to destroy your life, to destroy your body, and finally, you may end up becoming a single mother that you never wanted to be. How will you study when you are pregnant? It is not easy to be in a classroom and you are pregnant. Please avoid this tabia tambia, to tambia, to tambia, to buyer, to buyer. Be honest with yourself. Be honest. So that may God bless you. And I continue, I want to encourage you. If you already have the pregnancy with you, don't feel embarrassed. Go back to school. That is one mistake you made and you cannot do another. If you don't go back to school, you are making another mistake. And you'll never forgive yourself. So parents, let us encourage these children that this immorality are not good for them. Good parents will discuss this video with your child. But if you are not good enough to discuss some of these matters with your child, please let the discussion go on between your child and somebody else whom you can call a mentor. What am I trying to say? But get your child a, a mentor. If you're not a good role model to them, get them someone who can mentor them throughout their life. Someone who has excelled academically. Someone they can envy. Someone they can look up and up to. And see, so and so has succeeded. Through education, he has one, two, three. Through education, his children are doing one, two, three. They can count on positive things that, uh, that uh, education has given this person. What they might say, get your child a mentor. I hope you have subscribed. Please, my dear parents, subscribe to uh, this channel and also remember to share this video so that another parent there may get help and the child too. God bless you as you continue watching.